In 1954, the elite of the planet met in secret at the Bilderberg Hotel in Oosterbeck, Holland. The Bilderberg Group would later admit that their mission was the formation of the EU. Once the EU was established under the guise of trade deals, a North American Union and Asian Union would be formed. The three interlocking superstates form the core of the global government while the United Nations would serve as a world regulatory and enforcement body over the third world subregions. The Bilderberg Group consists of the heads of all of the managing roundtable groups that steer individual countries. Picture the elite power structure of the world as a giant pyramid with only the elite of the elite at the tip top of the capstone. The group has been so secretive that until the mid-1980s, the controlled corporate media denied its existence. The head of Daimler Chrysler, Jürgen Erich Schrimp, arrives by helicopter. Here, the owner of the Washington Post, Donald Graham, escorts Indra Nui, the head of PepsiCo. Queen Beatrix of the Netherlands, whose father, Prince Bernhard, founded Bilderberg, is a leading figure in the group. Of course, globalist kingpin David Rockefeller, seen here with his bodyguard, James Ford, always attends. The then newly appointed World Bank chief, Paul Wolfowitz, is photographed at Bilderberg 2005. It has been reported that Wolfowitz had attended previous meetings while still the Deputy Secretary of Defense, a violation of the Logan Act. Under the Logan Act, it is a felony offense for any member of the federal or state government to meet with members of a foreign government without the express authority and authorization of the President or Congress. Put simply, it is illegal for members of the government to meet secretly behind closed doors with foreign power brokers due to the problems of corruption and espionage that it breeds. For this reason, many prominent politicians attend but their names do not appear on the official list. Despite the Logan Act, the governor of New York's name, George Pataki, does appear on the list. And we were able to catch the governor on tape, walking with David Rockefeller at Brook Street. Multiple staff members inside Brook Street reported to us that Hillary Clinton attended for half a day. Several armored limos with diplomatic plates did arrive with police escorts and offloaded their passengers in the underground parking garage out of the sight of the press. Former World Bank President James Wolftonson sardonically stared at our cameras. Hey guys, attention just for a second. I just need to tell you that a group just met here in Canada and they're trying to get rid of your sovereignty, merging you with the U.S. and Mexico. See, it, it, it's not funny, I'm serious. And your news isn't going to tell you about this. This is deadly serious. So I'm just letting you know and I'm telling you about it. As they say, they are the guys that run the world. They make the decisions for we and we just carry it out. Sir, did you hear about the Bilderberg Group meeting here in town, the 120 most elite people in the world? No. Hey, did you know that the elites meeting here in town right now? Have you heard about it? 120 crime bosses? None of you have heard of it. None of you guys have heard of the Bilderberg Group? They're meeting right now. In the city, around 10% of the people were aware of the New World Order agenda. When we traveled to Parliament, close to half of the people we randomly spoke to were informed. Ma'am, what did you say about the American Union? He said, it's, it's going to end up happening. We don't want it, but it's going to happen. <laughs> Why do you think? Because the Bilderberg Group runs the world. You have the Trilateral Commission that's also part of the Bilderberg, which is the uh, United States, Europe, and Asia. But most of this is public knowledge. Nobody wants to believe that there are conspiracies, uh, that yeah. world leaders are already elected before they're voted on. Uh, so here we know that Bernard Lord uh, is part of the outer circle. Um, I, I was surprised to read that uh, Harper addressed the group in 2003 uh, because my understanding was nobody gets into politics without becoming 
uh, part of the Bilderberg Group, and then you find out afterwards that that is the case that they have. Well, yeah, well, Bill Clinton went there in 91, George Bush Sr. back in like 85. And Blair, same thing, who we think that we're electing as leaders are, have already been pre-picked for us, whether it's liberal or a conservative, they're already part of the group. Uh, they own all the horses in the race. They own the horses, and I understand that, for example, in the United States, it's a one-party system with two factions, uh, though you think it's, it's two different uh, parties. Oh, it is, yeah. So. It's like Bill Clinton constantly vacations with the Bushes, and they call him their son, and they actually staged all that in 92, and all that's come out. It's just all staged. They're not going to let trillions of dollars slip through their hands. The good news is people are waking up, though. When you read human history, when you study it, all, all you see is elites trying to dominate, subterfuge, Machiavellian backstabbing. And somehow in the last 50 years, they convinced Westerners that the government's fine, can do no wrong, trust them. How did this happen? <laughs> it's easy to lead sheep. I mean, people just follow. They don't want to believe these things will happen. No way. We'll just follow along with the norm. That's all. It's just an, makes it easier for everyone. What's your view on losing Canada's sovereignty? I like this country to stay as it is, and I love the United States to be there. Back in Austin, the capital of Texas, the public was frighteningly unaware of the nation's peril. Have you heard about the North American Union? Um, not really, no. I don't watch TV. No, I haven't. Interesting. I was not aware of that. I don't, I don't know exactly what you mean, so... Um, I don't think there's going to be a merger of the three nations. No, I have not. Uh, no. Uh, no, I, I didn't know. know this was happening, so... <laughs> no. Yes, I have. I have oh, you have heard about it? Yes. Yeah. After that big rally today, I don't know about it? I don't know about it. No, I have not. Have you heard of the European Union? I have, yes. Are you aware of the European Union? Oh, yeah, of course. Have you heard about the European Union? Heard about them. Do you know about the European Union? No. Europe, 15 member group expanding. A what? 15 nations of Europe merging in 2000. Whatever. 